Hi guys, so today's session we're going to be talking about how you can be able to reload your operating system or format your operating system. So the first thing first you need to do is to ensure that your ISO file is already inside a USB flash drive. Okay, so you need to extract the content of the ISO file, copy it out. You know, when you download it from Microsoft websites, you are going to see uh, it's going to come up in an ISO format, right? So open the ISO and then the content inside, just copy it out and then paste it in a flash drive. That is the first step. Now, second step is you having to connect your flash drive to your computer, okay? Now, these are part of the issues you may face. When you restart the computer, you would most likely realize that the computer is not booting from the flash drive. You don't have to worry about that, okay? So that is not an issue. So the first thing you need to do is to set up the boot option to make sure that the computer is going to be booting direct from the usb flash all right i know you are going to be wondering how we got here to this uh, very screen but don't worry i'll just uh, close this okay and then click yes and then click escape so you either press escape and f12 okay escape or f12 so it depends on the laptop you are using if you're using a um, if you're using a Dell laptop, if you're using a HP laptop or a Toshiba, okay, so that's gonna be dependent on the function key you would have to press. But just know that it's between the escape key and F12 or F10, as the case may be. All right. So my F12 brought up this menu. I will then have to click on F10, which is F9 rather, which is the boot device option. So I'm gonna click on F9, and it's gonna bring up this page. While it has brought up this page, you're going to see different options. I'm going to select USB hard drive UFI. Okay. So it's going to be booting direct from the Scandix, which happens to be the name of my drive. Okay. So I'll just select my drive and then press enter. So it's going to now reload or it's going to now load the, um, the drive. Okay. It's going to now load direct from the USB drive. Okay. So let's wait for it to load. Okay, you're going to have to give it some time, all right? So once it loads, the next thing will be for you to now continue with the setup, okay? Now, I'll just click on Next, click on um, Install, okay? So it's, it's starting, uh, setup is starting, right? So we're just going to give it some time, all right? Okay. All right, so it's completed. I'll just click on accept. I accept the license terms and then I'll click on next. Now, I'm going to see custom install. That's what you're going to click on. Now, here is the catch. There are two drives on this computer. We have a HDD drive and we have an SSD drive. All right? So, the essence or what I want to do is to be able to make sure that the operating system is going to be loaded on the SSD drive, all right, which happens, which happens to be the drive one partition one, okay? Now, first of all, I need to format it, okay? I'll have to format the drive, okay? So it's a drive one. Now, I formatted it, but unfortunately, I am not able to load direct, okay? because I'm getting the error. Windows cannot be installed to disk disk. The selected disk has an MBR partition table. So it means that this particular disk is running on MBR, which is the master's boot record, okay? So I'm just gonna close. I'm gonna cancel this. I'll click yes. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press, I'm gonna press Shift F10. Shift F10 is gonna bring up the command prompt so i need to convert this mbr to gpt okay to gpt which is the guild partition table so that is the only way this can be able to load so i'm going to type dix okay dix part okay i've typed this part and then i will type list dix Okay, so it has showed me or it's showing the list of disks that I have on this very computer. Okay, 
the um the dix where i want to load the operating system is the dix one so i'm going to select this one so i'll just type select dix one okay so dix one is now selected now the next thing i'm going to do remember i have already formatted it i'll just type clean okay so it has cleaned the dix now i'm going to convert this M MBR to GPT. So I'll just type convert GPT. Okay, so it is now successfully converted. All right, so I'll just go back, close the command prompt, go to install, and then it's going to take me back to that view. We'll would now see if we'll be able to load the operating system on the SSD drive. Okay. So I'll just click I accept, click on next, click on custom install, and then this is it. Drive one on allocated space. So I'll just click on next. And then excellent. So it's now loading the operating system on the SSD drive. So the essence for this video is because I would understand that sometimes you might face that error. That's the reason why I had to do this video. You might face the error of, oh, sorry, you are not able to load this operating system on this computer or on this disk because it is an MBR. Do not worry. Just use the shift um, function 10 and then type the disk parts, list disk, select the disk and convert. So that's what you need to do. Okay. So now the operating system is loading on the SSD drive not on the HDD drive. I hope this session has been very informative to you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you. Bye, guys.